So grapes don't in themselves hold much value. Even its wood is really only good enough to be burned. Maybe some trinkets and things like that. But, you know, tend to grapes, prepare them, crush them. And what you get is a valuable juice. And in some cases, the value, it even increases with its age. <laughs> now, if you know me, you know I don't shy away from my faith in Christ. And there are incredible life lessons to learn, whether you believe as I do or not. One of those things I've learned personally over the years of my studies about and the most mentioned fruit I've found in the Bible is actually grapes. It's mentioned in at least 50 verses in the Bible. If it's mentioned more than a few times, it must mean something, I would think. So that's why I'm digging into it a little bit here today. In the days of old, and traditionally still done in places today, grapes are put in large vats and they're crushed by the feet of people stepping on and pressing out that juice of the grape. Sounds kind of gross, but it works. And they do wash their feet prior, hopefully. <laughs> the only way to get the juice is through a pressing and a crushing of that grape. It has to be that process. It has to be that thing that squishes them together. Now, looking back a bit first, before there's even a grape on the vine, there's a flower. Now, this greenish looking flower, it isn't really an extravagantly beautiful flower. As a matter of fact, um, you wouldn't even hardly even notice it. It's not that noticeable, but what is noticeable about it is it's extremely fragrant, beautiful smell. It's at that flowering stage that the grape is especially vulnerable to damage and ultimately it's success to develop. So if the flowers don't develop, there is no fruit. You see, it costs something for a grape to go from average to a low value to intentionally being made great. You know what it costs? <laughs> it costs everything. So no matter where you are in life, a successful CEO, a manager, a spouse, a parent, even a child, there is and was a great price to be paid where you are. And there's a sacrifice that was made to be able to get you to where you can be. You see, we're the grapes, and the only reason we're pressed and crushed is to squeeze us to the point of producing what's already inside of us. But without that attention, without noticing the flowers and the incredibly beautiful fragrance of that inconspicuous little green flower, without knowing the exact right time when those things need to be tended to, without pruning and without plucking, without pressing, without crushing, the risk is losing that valuable juice that's on the inside, that it will never be produced without everything I just shared with you. Oh yeah, there's one more thing. There's not one grape that has ever existed on this planet that's ever been able to detect all these things, to press and crush itself and turn itself into wine. Not possible. Can't be done by itself. That says a lot about a lot of things. Now, it always requires the careful attention of a master. No matter what title, status, or position you might hold in life, and no matter what phase that might be, there's always the need for the hand of someone else to help you to become the greatest you'll ever be. You see, perfection, it's a process, not a position. If you happen to be in the pruning stage, know that being cut back, it's not a loss, it's a gain. So if you might be in the, that crushing and that pressing stage, know that although there is pain, no doubt, and there's lots of bruising involved, the outcome, it's exponential growth and great value produced from something that's already inside of you and only if the process is permitted. That requires submission, humility, and a teachable spirit. So I hope this encourages and inspires you. I also hope it provides a guide and a pattern to similar things you may be experiencing or that you can, you can see now on the horizon for yourself, for your own life. You can see some great potential and even though all this process it can suck <laughs> you can see where 
the pressing and the crushing is needed. Now, I don't claim perfection in my life at all. On the contrary, I'm, I'm being perfected day by day. However, I'm only going to be perfect at one point and I'm striving to get there every day. And here's the deal. It's only through my desire to live in excellence by placing the idol of perfection on the altar of sacrifice, giving that thing up, that it's possible to even get there. <laughs> so if you'd like more information on how I can help provide this for you in your life, through a coaching relationship, through courses I've created, or even a workshop at your office or a keynote at an event, then just reach out to me here through DM or email or message me if you're seeing this video on another platform than LinkedIn. And also register right now for my masterclass coming up next Monday and Tuesday, November 4th and 5th, 2019. It's already past that time that you've watched this video. Uh, watch for it to come again. It's called The Fast Method. It's an incredible process, an incredible place where, yeah, there is some crushing, there is some pressing, but what it does, it produces clarity and vision for you. So you're no longer having to go by other people's things that they say about your life for you. You get to figure it out for yourself. If there's one thing you can remember from all I've said today, just remember this, get juicy.